my grandparents made the world to me. I love my grandparents because they're always there for me and it's really nice to me. They mean a lot to me, like, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but they, I love them so much. Uh, they mean a lot to me because they're always there if I need help in anything. Like if I'm stuck in something in homework, they'd always be there. Even if they didn't know how to do it, they've always tried to help. On Sundays, we would go to uh, my dad's parents' house for lunch after our sports. Uh, my granddad, Eddie, has bad hearing. And uh, so most of the time at, at dinner parties, he can't hear anyone. So he just nods along with what everyone's saying. They mean a good bit um, um, to me. I see them like once a week at least. Like I can go to their house whenever I want to like to do study or do my homework because it's much quieter than my house. My grandparents mean a lot to me. I love them. I see them a lot like every, about once a week and not every holiday. Yeah, my granny means a lot to me. Uh, she always cares for me and loves me and when I go over to her house she always has really nice dinners and I love going over to her house and sometimes she gives me money. got a television. Televisions were not very common in our, in our area of the country. At the time it only had one station on it and it was black and white TV. So I remember being a child and watching my grandmother and she used to answer when people on the news were talking or if there was a question posed. My grandparents are in the great green pastures of Nigeria. She liked things done her way and I think it's probably safe to say I've inherited that from her. I think a lot of students would probably agree with that. And my granddad went to take a picture of us. He forgot his belt that morning. And so just as he uh, went to take the picture, his trousers dropped down. <laughs> well, he has a very interesting story. Uh, he was in the old IRA and uh, he had a fantastic funeral. Um, and it, it has an impression on me of the man that he was and uh, what he stood for. Uh, because we had such a big family, my mum had a lot of siblings, we used to have to get like a rota and we'd have a time that we were allowed to be there and more importantly a time that we had to be kicked out by and we would be saying hello to our relatives as we ran out the doors. When I was over in Bali in the summer with my nanny, she had her legs so she was in a wheelchair and I was going really fast and I crashed her into a wall. Wait, I shouldn't say that, should I? No. <laughs> I see my grandparents twice a week. I enjoy my time with them. Um, one time we were on like um, a, a Lewis hour and the doors were just slamming shut. So my nanny had to put her hand on and I was saying, um, what was that? You, you f***ing idiot. And said, you f***ing idiot. I won't be afraid Underneath the darkest love I think we'll be safe that's a wrap, folks.